Customer churn analysis is the process of using churn data to understand which customers are leaving, why are they leaving, which customers are likely to churn shortly, what can you do to reduce churn. As you may have guessed, churn analysis goes beyond just looking at churn rates. It's because understanding the underlying cause and curbing churn in time using data. Sure, customer attrition is inevitable, but what if we see it as an opportunity to learn, improve customer attention, and close any leaks in your revenue stream? That's what churn analysis helps you to do. To perform churn analysis, you need to do the following. Step one, invest in subscription analytics. Step two, analyze customers by segments. Step three, find out when and why churn is occurring. Let's quickly run through these steps. One, invest in subscription analytics. Subscription analytics tools like Revenue Story and Profit Well Metrics allows you to see all your metrics, including churn, at a single glance. You have all your data and metrics in one place, with multiple slicing methods and dicing it. Take a look at the Churn Watch dashboard here. Churn analysis helps you proactively identify customers who are likely to churn. Creating alerts to notify you about any adverse change in real time is a great way to stay on top of your churn metrics. You can create such custom alerts in your subscription analytics tools. Your analytics software should allow you to drill down to the deepest layer of all the metrics and reports, including churn metrics and more. Two, analyze customers by segments. Customer segmentation is the process of grouping your customers with various similar traits. It can help you uncover trends in customer churn. Choose a tool that allows configurable segmented analysis of churn. You should be able to analyze churn by revenue, business type, or demographics. You can conduct churn analysis across customer segments in the following ways. Churn analysis by revenue. This type of segmentation divides customers into groups based on their revenue. Early stage startups might be churning because of budgetary issues, and you can reduce this churn by offering them discounts and flexibility in payment terms. For enterprises, you need to ensure that your product has scaled along with the company's growth. Churn analysis by industry. This analysis helps in preventing churn by implementing specific measures for each sector. For instance, the global downturn induced by the COVID pandemic crippled the travel industry, but e-learning saw a surge as students took to remote learning. If yours is a business that is facing a slowdown, you can try these three techniques. 1. Pause instead of canceling subscriptions. 2. Offer flexible payment terms to accommodate customer preferences. 3. Provide free feature trials on higher pricing plans. Churn analysis by geography. Knowing your customer's location adds context to why they would be churning. Tax regulations, payment gateways, and payment processing are different for every country, affecting your product's adoption. For SaaS businesses, it is crucial to comply with the local sales tax guidelines. Your subscribers could be churning due to a lack of payment options or a lack of compliance with regulations, and this analysis is a great way to spot such trends. Find out when and why churn is occurring. Only when you know why the churn occurred will you formulate pointed strategies to curb it. There are majorly two types of churn voluntary versus involuntary. We've already covered this bit before. Churn can be voluntary or involuntary. Exploring what percentage of churn is voluntary and involuntary gives excellent insights into churn prevention workflows and strategies you would be setting up. Early versus late stage churn. Analyzing the timing of the churn adds depth to your churn analysis. There are various ways to look at this. You can start by analyzing churn by activation dates. It tells you how soon or not the customer churned after activating the product. Another way to analyze this is by looking at the MRR retention cohorts. The MRR retention cohort can visualize MRR addition, growth, and churn behavior based on both when you acquired the customer and what happened in a particular month. Moving down the first row shows you how much new revenue you could acquire month on month while going across columns shows how much that cohort expanded or contracted. 
In the cohort above, you could see an adverse impact on revenue growth across customers in a month. But what's more interesting is that customers acquired in the recent months seem to have churned more than the older ones, indicating a high early stage churn. There are so many ways that churn data can be sliced and diced. The three-step guide we discussed covers the main aspects of churn. Who is churning? Where are they churning? When and why they are churning? Equipped with this information, you're all set to reduce customer churn and improve retention. There are, of course, plenty of other metrics that can help you track, understand, and reduce churn.